Technical questions. Right back here, back right, Tyson. Troy, it's uh, over here. They're up 10-7. Uh, Their offense was was um, being pretty effective. Mario said that they did a good job of bringing in some different types of sets and stuff. What changed for you guys from when, you know, those those first two or three drives of theirs where they were moving stuff to I think you guys had forced them to punt, you know, four or five drives in a row after that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just we just got locked in. I mean, we kind of just uh, focused on what we needed to do, and we got right with each other, and everybody told each other to lock in and check themselves, and that's what everybody did. They everybody checked themselves, and we got locked in, and we got ready to rock and roll. In the middle, back, Steve. Travis, take us through what that experience is like for you tonight, and it kind of goes, you thought, in terms of the rotation, everybody kind of getting a few, and, and what did you think you brought? Uh, I thought I brought everything I could, you know, and uh, it was a great experience, you know, just being out there in the Autzen Stadium, wonderful. Did the rotation go kind of as you thought in terms of a bunch of different guys getting some work? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're all talented. We all know that we could do the job, and uh, and we're just all out there. Right here in the front, AJ. Ugo, Coach just went on and on about what you bring to the table for this team, but can you tell us what you think you bring to the table for this team? Um, what I think I, I bring to this team is um, a sense of of energy. You know, um, I try to talk to them in the way that, oh, I've been here before, so I, so, you, so I'm trying to tell you what you should expect, what's going to happen on, on the field, in the meeting room, anything. Right here, left, Matt. Brian Ugo, the first 12 minutes of the game, it seemed like both sides of the ball kind of struggled or was maybe slow a little bit. How much of a momentum killer was that for you guys for the, the touchdown from from – Herbert to, to red on fourth down. Next drive, you guys come out on defense and quickly get the ball. Was that just kind of like a, a floodgates opening for you guys momentum-wise? Yeah, we definitely needed that. We needed something to get us going. You know, we came out slow on defense. And uh, thanks to Herbert, like, he got us going. He picked the defense up, and that's when we started picking up our tempo and our flying to the football. Your position coach, it looked like Coach Hayward had, had you guys huddled up after it was 10 nothing. What was his general message uh, on the sideline at that point? Um, he wanted us to play tighter coverage and, uh, you know, continue to uh, wrap up when we're tackling because that was one of our biggest downfalls in tonight's game, you know, making sure we're wrapping up and communicating out there. Right here on the right, Steven. Troy, just as you look at it, what do you feel like some of the best things that – the, the defense did tonight, and what are the things that you really want to see yourselves improve on heading into next week? Uh, we stepped up and handled adversity well, which was uh, I really liked, and that's a, a big thing that we need to focus on this year. Uh, the thing I didn't like was we started off really too slow. I mean, they got too much at the, out the gates, and uh, we need to work on that coming out of the locker room and playing better on defense first. But uh, there's always room for improvement moving forward, so we just got to get ready for Portland State. Troy, question for you. Coach uh, Feld has really put his strength and conditioning program to work this off season and really gotten you guys to buy into that fill the sleeves movement. How did you see that translate to the game today from the off season workouts? Everybody was just uh, able to perform for longer and perform at a high level for a, a really long time and just stay consistent with their play. There was no real drop off. Everybody was still strong and healthy throughout the whole game. Ugo, in those those first two or three possessions uh, Bowling Green had, what did, what was their offense showing you guys that Coach Chris Ball said it was just a little bit different than maybe you guys had seen or, or just it was creative? Uh, just schematically, what, what was it that they were doing and, and how did you guys adjust to that? Um, they were, they were like, switching their uh, – putting their skill guys up at tailback and motioning them, sometimes we didn't go over and during practice and um, line up and empty, you know, putting our linebackers in a sticky situation, having them cover receivers. And um, and the way we adjusted that coming off the field, and they we kind of stopped. We put that in the bud after we realized what they were trying to do. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, when when you're playing a team that you, you don't know a ton about, is, is that something that you kind of expect a little bit of, of them to kind of you know come to the stadium and maybe throw some kind of wacky different types of stuff at you? Yeah, with a team like this, you know, um, I give them the most respect. You know. Um, they had nothing to lose, so they're going to bring out anything, you know. And I told my guy, like, expect the unexpected, you know, especially with this team. Right here, front right, AJ. Travis. I mean, first game, true freshman. Uh, how nervous were you? What was going through your head and mind going into the game? And then you got in so early. Um, did you, like, your nerves spike again when you got in there and, and you were about to carry the ball? 
Uh, no, not really. I was just, you know, play just like it's practice and, and just, just run as hard as you can, hit the holes as, as fast as you can, and, and just see the hole. You know, that's all, that's all it's about. Uh, heading into the game, you know, y'all just you always have that pregame, you know, nervous butterflies going on. But you know, right when you step on that field, that all that goes away. There's somebody in the middle raise their hand. Steve. Ooh, you take us through the interception, and then I think about the next time they came back out, you got a sack on there. Just kind of those two plays there at a time that kind of took away their chain. They came out and had the ball to start the second half. Uh, well, with the interception, you know, I it all uh, came from just really baiting the quarterback, you know. Uh, I knew what they were going to get to, and a uh, good thing that I just sat there because he threw it right to me. And I think they may have had a miscommunication on the route concept as well. And for the sack, you know, uh, I really thought he was going to throw the ball, so I didn't want to get, like, a P.I. on that. So, uh, but then he turned and came my way. I was like, all right, you're mine now. <laughs> Yeah, for Troy, how, Troy, how, how cool was it watching your brother run and kind of how do you think he played? And then for Travis, how cool has it been playing with your older brother here? I mean, it was awesome. I mean, it's always cool to see your brother go out there and do what he does best. And I, I was really proud of him, the way he performed. But at the end of the day, he's still a bum, so it is what it is. <laughs> uh, it was an unreal experience, you know, just playing with him again. You know, everything just rolling, moving and grooving. It's all it's all unreal. It's surreal for him. Right here, front right, last question, Nicole. Just three penalties tonight. I'm sure you noticed a huge improvement from last year. Can you guys talk, or maybe Troy, talk about what you think's made the difference in the offseason to make that happen? Well, we made a, a big stress fact, uh, f factor for us throughout all fall camp. We had officials come in and officiate most of our practices to to get on us about that. I mean, there was points in fall camp where we had 20 pe penalties at practice, so we just had to really improve on those and get better, and I think we did a good job today. But this is the first game, so we got to keep carrying on that uh, that same mentality throughout the throughout the rest of the season and hopefully uh, stay penalty-free. Thanks, guys. Nice job.